Machine Freaks and welcome back to the vlog. As you guys saw yesterday, I ended up buying some tires. I didn't have room for them because this thing's just taking up a lot of space and then I have a huge mess as you guys know. One of the tires is sitting right there. I'm getting extremely close finishing this entire four-wheeler up and that's why I bought two brand new tires. <music> Dalton, why would you buy used tires? That's a question that we're gonna get to later on in the video. I heard this little noise, I didn't know what the hell it was. I found out my air compressor was leaking. I drained the water out of it a few days ago and I guess I didn't tighten it all the way. Fixed it. I was literally just about to put the air box back in, but then Chris texted me, you know, the one with the shop that I've been hanging out with lately. I love this guy. <laughs> he has invited me to his shop to potentially switch out these tires. Now he's got a tire machine, it's a car tire machine, and you know, so he's not sure if it'll work. But I'm willing to try, and I told him I'd give him a hand for a little bit in exchange for it. Always help your friends out. As Seth would say, one hand washes the other. I like that saying, Seth. Thank you. Before I take the tires off, I have to work my truck. Speaking of warming up vehicles, how many people warm up their vehicle before they go ahead and take off somewhere? I always do because I have a diesel, but some people have diesels and they still don't warm them up. Even like my old truck, my gasser. I even wore that thing up in the winter. She never let me down. The Duramax is running. Dalton, maybe you should clean up your shop. But then where would the chaos be? Gotta have chaos when you're with 3D machines. My adrenaline starts pumping when people say, okay, you can come here now. You know, they don't give you any time. But that's how most business owners work. Hell, everybody works like that nowadays, I guess, now that I think about it. I don't want to waste anybody's time. Like, I'm always in the move. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I gotta quit being considerate. It's no good. It's getting in the way of my time schedule. It's getting in the way of my relaxation. to do that. I am a machine. The last guy put one of the tires on backwards. We're not going to do that here, right? Who did that? Not you. I'm saying oh. the guy <laughs> I'm saying the guy who had it before put one on backwards. It is, however, a Duramax. Chris is currently working on an exhaust system on another vehicle. Wow, I got three. And he's got, as you can see, a very sophisticated tire remover. I'm not used to that kind of machinery because, let's face it, I don't even have room for a machine like that. I wanted him to show me how to do one so then I could take care of the rest of the job so we could get his exhaust job done. I think he just likes working with me. Thanks, Chris. Oh, wow, he's watching. Yee! Or maybe he just doesn't want me to break anything. If so, Chris, I completely understand. I'm good at breaking stuff. Always treat Hi, people that help you help right. You. Can I have two 10-piece chicken McNuggets, please, with sweet and sour sauce? Bingo! Yeah, 
I just left Chris's. Chris, I love your equipment. It's amazing. It works extremely well. Unfortunately, my rims aren't up to par. That rim shot. And neither is my camera battery because it's about to die. Can you guys, can you guys see me? There we go. Okay, fix the battery. Can't fix the rim like that. Here is my rim. So I originally bent it right here really, really badly with the machine. Then I took it off. Did a little bit of blacksmithing, I guess, with a punch and a hammer. And I punched it out pretty good and it looked really nice. And there was only one little high spot. And there was just a small little air leak. And I should have left it. But instead, I took it all apart, cleaned it up, did it all over again. And then this one happened. After talking with Chris and having Chris look at it, because he was doing his job, his exhaust work, he said, dude, the rim's roasted. So I had to buy a new rim. Luckily, eBay saved my life this time. This rim was 20 bucks plus 20 bucks shipping. So $40 and I'll have a newer rim. Luckily, it was a front one and not a back one. Front ones are cheaper. What are we doing here, Gunsmoke? Gunsmoke, huh? <laughs> but look at these guys. Holy smokes. Yeah, see, even these rims are kind of dinged up. I mean, this is 2002. And at such a mature age, this thing's gone through a lot of woods. It's gone down a lot of roads illegally, I'm sure. If it's anything like how I would treat it. So it's not surprising when there's a lot of dings in a rim or on the frame or on the plastics. Just about everything. It's 2002, 13 years old. What year is it? 2017? 15 years old? Let me just say one thing. This thing did not age like fine wine. This thing aged like frickin' milk! There are a lot of benefits to getting good deals. And one is, you save money. Who doesn't like to save money? Now, I don't know about you, but saving money is probably one of my favorite activities among all activities. Because a dollar saved is a dollar earned. Saying that, I got these tires for $17. You heard me right, 17. That's a one with a seven behind it. These tires sell for like $160 new. And the tread, in my opinion, is about 75, 85% there. It's just this one's got a plug in it. No big deal, we just put a tube in it. The tube was, I think, $16. So you add 16 on top of the 17, you get 33. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's called opportunity cost. And basically what that means is to get somewhere, you had to have things hold you back and you had things that pushed you forward. I believe that's how it works. So by getting the new tires, it added value to this machine. It's going to get me through the mud easier. It's going to look better. The con is it's costing me more money. More than the $17 is what I'm saying. And it cost me more time. And now I have to go work for Chris and help him out for helping me out. That's what good friends do. I think I mentioned that. Before I put on the front tires, well, I can only put on one, I guess, thanks to uh, that rim shot. My error, the machine's error, the rim structure error. I'm not sure. I'll take the blame though. I don't care. I have had zero experience with that machine. It's completely my fault. So now here's the new tire. Here's the old rear tire. As you can see, I put it up against here. And I mean, come on. It, it is much wider. The camera's just not doing it justice. I mean, we are talking about some serious surface area increase. That's good when it comes to mud and dirt. And don't forget about hills. Those look awesome. Now I know there are a lot of people out there that aren't really interested in the used market and I know there's a lot of you guys that really like the used market. And I'm one of those people that are in between. As I get older, I realize that you know new is the way to go or relatively new is the way to go. Just because you don't have as much time and energy involved. Because when you buy something like this, time, parts, energy, it all adds up. What do you think is more important? Good back tires or good front tires when it comes to four-wheeling? Back, you know, you get moving a little quicker, but front, you can steer and you don't hit trees. Leave in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I broke a lot of stuff. I gotta, I gotta get the hell out of here before I break anything else. 3D Machines out. See you later. Take care. Jesus.